Today we're reviewing the use of a 12-inch HEC-XLT separation system alongside our DS2720-EX explosion-proof 10 horsepower vacuum system. To properly connect this, you'll see that the vacuum incorporates a couple of lift, uh, uh, connection bars in the front. So what you'll do is you bring your separator into place. You have an H bracket that's provided with the separator. This is a flexible bracket that allow you to connect it to this bar. And it locks itself right into place. Now once it's locked into place, you'll see that we have a, a good connection where we can move the equipment around together. And you have a flex connection as well. So as you're going over bumps, it'll be easy to uh, maintain. Now then you take your connection hose. You'll notice that we're going to put the connection hose with the barb on the bottom. This will button lock into the inlet of the vacuum. This barb is designed to be used with the equalizer kit. The equalizer kit is what's uh, going to keep the bag in place. So the equalizer hose, you're going to want to locate that. And you're going to want to make sure that the equalizer hose is properly put into place. And it fits firmly onto these barbs. One on the drum, one on the connection hose. Then you want to put the plastic bag inside. To do this, we're going to release the clamps, lift the lid up, and you're going to bring the drum down into the first position. This will allow you to take your conductive bag liner. It's very important when using this system that you only use a conductive bag liner. A standard plastic bag can create static, making it unsafe and harmful to use with combustible dust. So you're going to want to put your plastic bag in, fold it over, and just smooth it out as much as you can. Return it back to home position. Drop the lid down in place and clamp on. Then you're going to take your operator's hose or reducer or Y manifold or connection hose to your central vac tubing and you're going to simply button lock this in and you'll see that that is um, going to be your con final connection to the operator. So now we can go ahead and vacuum. So now what we've done is we've inc incorporated the high efficiency cyclone into the front of this machine. We're ready to turn the vacuum on. As we do this, the equalizer kit's going to suck that plastic bag down and hold it to the drum. So you're not going to risk sucking the bag into the cyclone. Now that we've finished our vacuum cycle to empty, we can leave all the hoses connected, simply lift the lid up, and this is where you would tie off the bag. And notice in here that the bag has been sucked to the outside wall to allow you to fill it all the way up. So you could tie the bag off, empty it out, put another bag in, and you're ready to go. So then, again, this has been a review of how to set up the HEC separation system to a Ruvok explosion-proof vacuum.